Man, it's low key locked down, and today we're going to be transforming Charles Oliveira into the GOAT. And we have a small list of things that he needs to do to accomplish GOAT status in the UFC. And actually, it's not a lot of things, and because, uh, you know, Charles Oliveira has a very decorated uh, record, honestly. With wins over the likes of Benil Dariush, Michael Chandler, Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje, Tony Ferguson, Kevin Lee, etc. I mean, it's not too much more people that you have to fight to make your resume better than everybody else's. I mean, it's not a lot of people in a way. I'm going to list off his accomplishments, you know, everything that, you know, he's done to, to this point and everything that he should do to get up to the point where he's the goat over Khabib, the goat over GSP, the goat over, uh, uh, maybe the joke, maybe the goat over John Jones, bro. But honestly, bro, if he does these two or three things that I'm about to list off in a very, very good order, I think that he absolutely has an excellent argument to be the goat in the UFC, period, even with his losses. So, number one thing that he needs to do, honestly, and I think this is very doable, and in a perfect scenario, in a perfect world, this definitely happens, right? If he beats Islam Mahakachev, Islam Mahakachev, in this next fight, I don't know if they're going to give it to Volkanovski or Islam, I mean, I don't know if they're going to give it to Volkanovski or Charles Oliveira or maybe Justin Gaethje, but if he manages to get Islam next, he beats Islam which I doubt that Islam will ever, ever, ever end up submitting him again. I mean, that's not realistic. Let's be for real now. I mean, it's not another chance on in hell, in hell with ice water, that Islam Makachev submits him again, bro. Come on now. I mean, it's Charles Oliveira, bro. P please pay some respect to this, man. Don't do not do that shit, bro. It's not another chance in hell, bro. But yeah, man. Islam Mahakachev is going to have to lose to Charles Oliveira. All right, that's step one in the plan of making him a GOAT. Then, number two, uh, Volkanovski wants to fight for that lightweight, uh, not lightweight, is it lightweight? Yes, he wants to fight for that lightweight, uh, you know, that lightweight strap, man. If he manages to beat Volkanovski, bro, he definitely is, he's probably the GOAT already. If he manages to beat Volkanovski, he's definitely the GOAT. There's no debating it at that point. Volk and Islam to your career uh, record. I mean, think about it. I'm going to list it off right now. And tell me if this doesn't sound like a GOAT's record. Wins over the likes of Islam, Volkanovski, Benil Dariush, Michael Chandler, Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje, Tony Ferguson. I mean, bro, who would have a more decorated list than that? And it's very, very possible that, um, you know, Charles Oliveira can beat Volkanovski. I think that that's a better matchup for him than Islam Mahakachev, honestly. Because did you see that guillotine that... <laughs> did you see that, that fucking... What is it? Modified guillotine that Brian Ortega had Volkanovski in. If that was Charles Oliveira, bro, Volkanovski was going to sleep. That would have been finished, bro. There's no chance in hell that he would have escaped a guillotine like... Gia, what, 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 is wrong with my, what is wrong with my English... There's no chance that he would have escaped a guillotine like that from <laughs> Charles Oliveira. Not a chance in hell, bro. I, I, I just don't see that happening. And, bro, think about it. I mean, Volkanovski can crack, and he's not going to ragdoll him like he did Yair. I mean, look at who Charles Oliveira fights, bro. I mean, Charles Oliveira fights people who can crack. And people say that his style might be too wild for Volkanovski, but, I mean, his style wasn't too wild for Justin Gaethje. His style wasn't too wild for Dustin Poirier. His style wasn't too wild for Benil Dariush. And they're all very, very decorated fighters. I mean, I mean Dustin Poirier is is a excellent, perfect boxer, bro. He's the perfect UFC boxer, and he, his style wasn't too wild for him. So if it wasn't too wild for him, why would it be too wild for Volkanovski? I mean, Volkanovski is very, very small coming up to that weight class. So if he manages to squish Volkanovski like that, bro, I mean, bro, who else would be the GOAT over him, bro? I mean, in a realistic world, this is a lot to ask from this man. But it is very, very possible, and it looks like it might be coming up in our near future just because of the way things are lining up. The stars are lining up for this to happen. If Charles Oliveira does this, he will go down in history as one of the great, well, he is already one of the greatest UFC fighters in history, but damn near the greatest UFC fighter in history. I mean, come on now. Look at, listen to that. Listen to that record. That's almost impossible to beat, bro. But yeah, man, look. I think that Charles Oliver can get this done. I hope that this is what he's planning to do. I honestly feel like he could definitely make this happen within a year or two, and then he can retire on that last fight. And with that being said, man, we out. Charles Oliver will be the GOAT loading right now, and we out.